Hey guys, let me know in the chat if you can see and hear me. I always like to make sure before I just start rambling. <laughs> it's so good to see you guys. Hi, Linda. Uh, we'll get into eye creams. Um, Pretty Candy Fab at 50. Hello. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Jess. Hi, a girl has no name. <laughs> uh, hi, a bloometh. Kim, Karen, Vanessa. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I thought we would uh, leave this one pretty casual. Yeah. Just do some Q&A. Oh, my gosh. Muse Beauty Pro is in the house. Hey, guys. Oh, my God. I'm so touched. Um, hey, Britt. Hey, Natalie. I just wanted to get a few, like, housekeeping type of things out of the way. Um, first... My background has changed. So you guys are the first ones to see my new background. You'll probably start seeing this in my next video that I'm going to put up on Friday, which is an exciting video. I can't wait for you guys to see that. Um, but I basically just kind of like swung my like setup around. I was sitting in front of a window and I liked the window. Like it automatically made a backlit background, but I didn't actually like the window like in my shot. So anyway, I've been wanting to make this change for a long time but as you guys know like moving all the furniture around and and getting rid of stuff whatever so it was kind of an ordeal but i finally did it and this is going to be the new background at least for a while we'll try it um oh great thank you i got the first thumbs up for the new background hey Alyssa. um <laughs> yes i have a candle i feel like totally legit now i also feel like a legit influencer because i have on like the world's like sloppiest clothing but like a full face of makeup um so hey lisa from london or uk i should say i should not assume that's london uk hi everyone um the next thing i wanted to um talk about in terms of housekeeping was i just wanted to i don't know share with you a few things and just talk about how amazing you guys are how amazing my subscribers are. I feel like I've, we've cultivated one of the best communities here. I can say like 100% honestly that I get very, very few like negative angry comments. And I just wanted to thank you guys for that. But I wanted to share with you um, some things. I had a subscriber um, who I think has been following me since I covered like knitting stuff on my channel, which is way back. We're talking more than two and a half years, maybe three years at this point. And she said that she noticed that I liked black wing pencils. Now, I don't know if you guys are into stationery, like I am. <laughs> I'm into a lot of things. Um, but black wing is like a pencil maker. That's how they started. And I hope you guys can see this, but this is like the typical shape of one of their pencils. They have this flat rectangle eraser. Anyway, so they've become this like cult favorite amongst like people who are really into stationery and they have a subscription box. Let me mute that. They have a subscription box of which I am a member of. And she sent me, look at this, all of these amazing like limited edition black wing pencils. These are, I can't tell you how valuable these are. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, if you're watching, you know who you are that sent this to me. I just don't want to, you know, say someone's name if they're not comfortable with that. But thank you very much. And I also wanted to share with you guys um, a thank you card from the woman who won... I've completely lost track of my giveaways. I think this wasn't the last one, which I'll show you pictures of. This was the one before. This is the one that Donna won. And she just wrote, I wanted to let you know that I received the package that you had sent out to me. Thank you for this very kind gesture. I was overcome with such generosity. Thank you also for your channel. Enjoy watching and learning from you. It is delightful, classy. Thank you. So that just, I mean, like a, to get like a handwritten thank you note I, it, in this day and age is so, it's beyond meaningful to me. So I wanted to share that with you. And then, sorry, just a couple more things and we'll get to your um, Q&A. Uh, but I wanted to share with you some pictures about shipping overseas. And I thought, you know what, I'm just, what else am I going to do? I'm going to do it. We'll see what happens. And I kept emailing her. I warned her. I was like, 
I don't know what you can do at that end, but just keep an eye out for it, whatever. So she emailed me and I hope you can see if you guys can see this picture, but it's a picture of all of the goodies in front of her window. And I think she lives, well, she's from Amsterdam. And so I'm assuming that's maybe a canal. Isn't that, I mean, it's just such a beautiful picture, but you know, she was so happy to have gotten these things. And she told me that she was going to wait um, to open this box with her niece because her niece uh, watches me also. And so this is a picture of Ellen and her niece. And her niece actually, I believe, has one of the uh, lip glosses on that I sent. So isn't that just, it's so sweet. I was so, so happy. Oh yeah, here's her niece actually putting on the lip gloss. So anyway, I was, you know, this brought tears to my eyes because I just thought that that was so great. And she was so thankful because she can't get a lot of these things in Amsterdam. And I thought, gosh, that sucks. So um, I was glad um, that she got that package. Um, the last thing I want to talk about before we get to your questions is refer brushes. So Refer Brushes, if you guys don't know, they're um, pretty much a startup company at this stage, and they are Canadian-based, uh, Toronto-based company, and uh, they've just been wonderful. And I've worked with them in helping them create their video for their Kickstarter campaign, which they launched uh, maybe last Monday. Anyway, they blew away their goal. They're selling handmade um, Japanese brushes, and I've tried them out, and they've been sending them out. Anyway, they have an amazing program, and if you are a Kickstarter um, pleasure, they are offering you um, like this, it, almost like this kind of like add on, um, because they were so overwhelmed with the response to the original Kickstarter, that something like, you know, I think if you like add up like, or, or add to your pledge, like $30, they'll send you another like a brush almost like this powder brush, which is their 11 brush, but it's going to be um, a little bit shorter, a little bit denser, and the ferrule is going to be pinched. So I am really, really excited for it. Um, what I've done is in the description box for this live stream, I don't know if you guys can see that yet, um, or once I make this um, public on my channel and you guys can replay this or whatever, I'll have a link to the refer YouTube video that explains exactly what you can do to get that brush if you've pledged. If you haven't pledged, you can go onto Kickstarter and take a look at the sets that they have still available. Um, but all the information will be in that YouTube video. So if you can, it'll be down there um, in the description box right now or you know, once I have this live as a video. So I just wanted to mention a few of those things. Um, uh, so let's get into the questions. Sorry. I feel like I've just like, blah, like just, um, verbally vomited all over you guys. Um, so let's see, let me go back a little bit here and see if we have, um, some questions. So the first question actually that I got, oh God, everyone's here. Hi Maris. Hi Emily. Oh my gosh. It's so good to see you guys. Barb. Ah, so good to see all of you. Okay. So way back, Linda asked, what do you recommend for an eye cream? Um, let me preface my answer by saying that I think I mentioned this in my morning skincare routine that I don't always use an, uh, an eye cream. And if I am feeling lazy or short on time, which is very often, uh, the first thing that goes for my skincare routine is eye cream. I find that my lotion, my face lotion, my face moisturizer usually is fine. And I know that the texture of it is uh, generally thicker than eye cream. You know, the, the skin around our eyes is different or whatever. That's just me personally. I just, I'm lazy. I'm lazy. But when I do use an eye cream, I use the Sicily, the Sicily A. It's like the eye and lip contour cream. And it comes with like one of those rolly things that helps to kind of like depuff and contour your face. And it has a very thick, rich texture and I'm prone to getting milia. So I was a little bit worried about that. And so I always kind of start very lightly, uh, but I've never, I've never had a milia issue with it. So I am very, very happy with that um, eye cream so far. Um, I probably, again, because I'm lazy, um, that I probably use it either morning or night I don't know, maybe, maybe six times a week. Like it's not, it's not something I'm really, really like diligent about. So that is, um, 
my eye cream um, of choice. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm like, there's a lot of uh, questions. Um, would you ever do drugstore makeup reviews? Um, I'm never, I'm never one to say never. Um, at the moment, it just, it just doesn't interest me. It's also very overwhelming. Like if you've never, ever gotten into drugstore makeup, if you walk into a Walgreens or Walmart, which I've done and I've taken a look, it's, I, I don't know what's new. <laughs> I don't know what's worth talking about. Um, but I have actually toyed around with the idea of having like a Frugal Fridays series only because, you know, why not? But at the moment, um, at the moment, I like staying in my lane. At the moment, I like cultivating this niche um, on YouTube, mainly because I feel like the luxury beauty market is very underserved. I don't think that there's a lot of YouTubers talking about luxury makeup. I think there's a lot talking about high end and drugstore, but there really isn't that's really focused on luxury. So that's kind of what I've carved out for myself. Um, and I'm going to stick with that for at least a little while. But like I said, you know, never say never because I like makeup and um, I have been very, very tempted by some drugstore makeup, but I'm not going to cover that on my channel. It's not yet. There's just, there's just a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of makeup to cover in all categories. Um, thoughts on Marlena's video. So I watched it. I did watch the whole thing. And I have to say, when it comes to gossip, um, I feel like I... Like I, I hear about it when it kicks off, but I don't really like kind of follow it. Um, this Jaclyn Hill lipstick thing, I've been following only because it's not, to me, it's not like gossip, like a he, shits, he said, she said, or like a he did this to me, or, you know, she's mean to me, or, you know, like, and tweets back and forth. I was just curious because like, these are lipsticks and this was sort of like a, like a, like a, um, like behind the scenes beauty community kind of thing um, about factories, about labs, about the process of making stuff. So I was really just kind of interested in that, um, in that aspect of it. But when I was watching Marlena's video, I just, I had no idea about like all of that stuff. I had no idea about James Charles calling her that woman or, you know, whatever. And, um, you know, all of those details, I don't know, I wasn't there, but she seemed like she was very genuine and she seems like a very nice person. I don't know her. She doesn't know me. Um, I've never met her. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's really, that's really, those are my only thoughts on Marlena's video. It's, and it was really long. It was incredibly long. Um, oh my gosh. There's a lot of questions rolling in. Uh, do you find La Mer soft lotion greasy? Do you think soft cream will be better? Um, I don't think the soft cream will be better. The greasiness that you're feeling is probably the petrolatum in there, uh, which is basically like Vaseline. Um, and that's why I like La Mer because I have eczema. I have a, just a really crappy skin barrier on my face and petrolatum kind of acts as like a barrier. Um, and so it kind of keeps everything in. Um, and, and that ingredient is in all of their face creams except I'm not sure, except for maybe their gel version. So you may want to try that one. Um, oh, Muse Beauty Pro. Have you ever been to San Francisco? I have. I used to work for a company that had an office there and I would go actually fairly often. And I love San Francisco. I mean, it is, it, it's reputation precedes itself. It's such a beautiful city. Um, and you guys are lucky to be headquartered there. It's, um, it's gorgeous. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, Jordana, thank you. She says she loves my new ring. I love my new ring. Um, Stella's wondering, can you speak Chinese? Um, every day it's getting worse and worse. You know, when I was younger, I went to Chinese school. Uh, I lived with my parents. They spoke Chinese to me. I always responded to them in English. But if I had to like conjure up a sentence in Chinese, I could. Of course, it would take me a while. I'd have to do the translation in my head. Now, I mean, it's so rough. I actually just had dinner with my parents yesterday and my uncle and my aunt who are in from Shanghai and they're speaking to me in Chinese. And even that I was like, 
I'm like, say that one more time. And they were just like, oh my God. I'm like, I know I'm terrible. Um, so yeah, that's my state of, that's the state of my Chinese. Um, can we meet up when you are in New York city? I will, I will try it just, you know, New York is crazy when I get there. Um, so Natalie's asking what's on my cheeks today. Um, this look, I just filmed my June favorites. So all of this will be in my June favorites video, which is going to go up on Sunday. But to answer your question, um, this is the Tom Ford incandescent, that skin illuminating powder duo. This is the bottom half, the blush side. And then the bronzer I have on is the Shantikai real bronze in Goa, the deeper, cooler one. Um, so I really love knitting. Okay. So someone's asking, um, you are in the knitting business. I am. Uh, so like handmade stuff or <laughs> I really love knitting. So yes, handmade stuff. Um, so I am a hand knitter and I design, um, I design for hand knitters. So I will design pieces. And then what I actually end up selling is the pattern. So if you're a knitter out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're not, um, what knitters, crocheters, sewers, um, what they do is they always buy a pattern to follow and create. So I end up creating a design, but then I have to write out the pattern. Um, and then that's what actually gets sold. Um, oh my God. Hello from inner Mongolia. Hello. Oh my goodness. What time is it over there for you? That's amazing. Um, welcome. Um, what do you do to relax, deal with stress? Um, you know, I don't, I don't actually do much, um, because I'm a pretty relaxed person. I don't, I don't have a lot of anxiety. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't stress out about stuff. I just, you know, I do it. I do the best that I can and I know I do the best that I can and that's it. That's how I kind of just feel about stuff in general. Um, but you know, stuff that I do, I think that helps stress in general is I do like to work out. So I go to Orange Theory um, like three times a week. And um, I do like to get massages regularly. Um, I actually have a good friend back in New York whose husband is a physician. And he <laughs> he was always talking about how important massages are. He's like, you know, he's like, for some reason in this country, people think massages are a luxury and this and that you go to the spa. He's like, but they're really very therapeutic. And he's like, he was also kind of on a mission. He was like, they should be covered by insurance. I'm like, well, they are if you're hurt, but whatever. Um, he's like, they should be for everyone. And so he kind of talked me into getting them more regularly. And I do think that it's very, very helpful. So I try and get like, you know, a normal kind of therapeutic massage, like once a month. Um, doesn't always happen that way. Cause I'm actually not the biggest fan of massages. I don't like, this is a fun fact about me. I don't really like getting poked and prodded. So I don't like getting my teeth clean. That's not new. Um, I don't really like massages. I don't like facials. I don't like manicures. I get manicures, but I don't, I'm like cringing the whole time and I don't get pedicures because I just can't stand it. So, uh, anyway, that's what I do to, uh, relieve stress. Um, you need to collab more with Risa. I know. You know what? She's the busy one. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I love Risa. Um, but she she really she has a much more active life than I do. She has two sons. She um her parents live nearby. Um, her husband travels a lot for work, you know, so she's very, very active. Um, and she's lived here a longer, much longer time than I have. So she has like, you know, like a whole world going on. But we do try and get together as soon as as often as we can. Um, Nicole, hey, yay or nay, Nicole is in the house. You guys have to follow her. If you if you just want to gaze upon a 50-year-old that has the most amazing skin, just go to yay or nay, Nicole. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and she says, I love facials. Well, it shows <laughs> because your skin is impeccable. Um, what is your favorite makeup brand, my desert island kind? So, um... Well, we actually last uh, during the last live stream we talked about what would be what would be my my desert island. Sorry, what would be my desert island um, like brand? And I said Sisley because I like their skincare and their makeup. But if we're just talking makeup, if we're just talking makeup, I don't know. I feel like maybe Tom Ford. I love so much of Tom Ford's stuff, Chantecai. I love so much of Chantecai stuff. That is really tough. That's really tough. Um, 
Oh, oh, your skin is going today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kim. Um, Thank you, Brandy. Uh, I vote for, vote for Tom Ford. What's on your nails? So um, this is a gel polish. It's called Marilyn Merlot. <laughs> and it's from a company called Perfect Match. I think they're a very popular gel polish company that you'll find at salons. Um, do another live vid with the glam Dr. Mona Khan. I would love to. I, I adore her. Um, and she just randomly ended up in Vegas so many times, but I do hope that she ends up here again. Um, she's, it's just so much fun to have her here. Um, Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah. Barb, Barb Robbins is saying Charlotte Tilbury is her desert Island makeup brand. Um, hello. I'm Japanese. Hello. I, I am going to Japan in September. I wish I spoke Japanese. Um, hello from New York city. Hi, I miss New York. Um, I love your lipstick. What is it? So I am wearing um, the Sicily lip liner in nude. And then on top of it, I have the new Charlotte Tilbury hot lips in JK magic. This one, I, when I ordered it, I really thought maybe this was not going to be my favorite. I thought it was going to be a little bit too light, but I love it. I absolutely love it. It's like probably the lightest I can go before it starts looking really fleshy. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, when lips start to look like concealer lips and I know some people like that look, but to me, I'm just like, Ugh, it just looks so fleshy. Um, but yeah, I love JK magic and it's in the kissing formula, which I love cause it's really creamy. Um, hi from Melbourne. Hello. Hello. Um, whoa, Burberry kiss. I have not tried Burberry kisses lip lacquer. Um, any lip balm recommendations for super dry lips? I have, I have a lot of lip balm recommendations. I think I did a top five Tuesdays. I think I, either I did a top five Tuesdays or I did like a lip balm, um, video, but I love the Chanel, um, Hydra Beauty one. This is great because it's, it's thick, but it's not like lip mask thick. Um, but it, it like hangs out on your lips for a while. So it feels protected. Um, I, I, loved the bite beauty agave lip balm but this was definitely much thicker and it was kind of a mask um it was great in the winter time especially in new york but i think they reformulated this i don't know why companies do that i don't know why they fix things that aren't broken um but this yeah this was great I'm going to stop talking about it because I'm pretty sure they reformulated it. If you guys watch Kathleen Lights, I think in her disappointing products that she posted maybe last week, um, she talks about this, the new one, because she reordered it and was like, this is different. Um, so that one, um, I do like the Sicily lip balm, um, but this lip balm is, um, for me, it's more of a lip mask because, again, it's one of those that kind of sits on top of your lips and it takes a long time for it to like penetrate. Um you're going to be sorry you asked. I have a lot of lip balms in here. The Emile Corden lip balm, I absolutely love. I absolutely love this. Um, this is in number one Lisa, and they have um, uh, tinted ones. And this is thinner. This is thinner than any of the ones that I just mentioned. So this is great day, night. It smells wonderful. I just I really like the texture of this because it's thin, but it's not like useless thin. So I like this one. I could go on and on, but the one that I like um, for like makeup prep, because that's different, you know, you want something that's gonna soak in. It's not gonna be too thick. Like I would never put something like this on before I'm gonna do my makeup. Otherwise your lipstick is just gonna, you know, fall all over the place. Um, is the Sawasu, uh, this is like their lips, like serum in a stick. Is the name on here? Look how small that writing is. I can't read that. Um, but this is just, it's just great. And I put this on right before um, I start putting on my makeup <clears throat> to kind of do a moisturizing thing for my lips. So that one I love as well. Um, what's in your purse? You know, not a lot is in my purse. I travel very lightly. I have my wallet. I have my keys. <laughs> I have uh, sunglasses. Uh, that's it. Um, did I just see Better Off Red? Oh my gosh, Better Off Red is here. Hi. Um, another great channel if you guys want to go check her out. She's hysterical. Um, what do you think of Il Maquillage Foundation? Scam or score? 
The Il Maquillage Foundation, I found, because again, I have dry, sensitive skin, it just wasn't great for that. But I, I do think it would probably be a little bit better for like normal combo skin. I'm not sure about oily either, but like normal combo skin, um, I think that it may it may be good, but it just, it didn't work for me. I'm trying to think why. Um, it was on the matter side. I just feel like it looked, it started to look cakey as the day went on. Um, so that was my experience with it. Um, oh, I, I feel like I missed a bunch. Do you, do you believe influencers and or companies that do giveaways only give to people with huge followings? Oh, wow. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I would, I would hope not, you know, um, I would hope that, you know, they're being sincere. Um, but I don't know at all. Uh, where's my fur baby. She's actually at school right now. So she goes to school Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, and my husband's going to pick her up. So she'll probably be home actually in about a half hour. Um, so if we're still on, I will, I will bring her, bring her out. Um, uh, Rachel's asking my favorite sunscreen. So my favorite one at the moment for my face is the Kipris Pot of Shade Heliotropic Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, I just love this. And um, was it maybe during the last live stream or in one of my videos? Sorry, I've lost track. Um, I talked about how I'm starting to get more and more into uh, sunscreen ingredients, um, the chemical versus the mineral. And the more I read about chemical, the more I feel like maybe best to just stay away. And this is mineral. So this is just 100% zinc oxide in terms of the SPF, uh, but it's an SPF 30. So it's not that high, but it's it doesn't like feel or look like SPF at all on the skin. Just, it's amazing. And it leaves a little bit of a radiance uh, to my skin. So it actually makes for like a really nice primer in a way. So I really been loving this. Um, in terms of body, I've been using an Elta MD. It's, I'm sorry, it's like in my bathroom, an Elta MD mineral sunscreen. I think it's like SPF, it's like 47 or 41. It's like a really kind of like odd number. And that is, it's great for the body because it leaves like a pretty severe white cast and it's even, it's water resistant, but even when I shower, I have to actually scrub it off. Like that's how serious this sunscreen is, but yeah, that's an Elta MD one and it's, it's great. Um, let me see. Is there a release coming up that you're really excited about? The one that I'm most excited about right now is the Pat McGrath foundation, uh, powder. And I don't know if I'm going to get the brush. I feel like I'm going to end up getting a set and the brush will be included. Um, so I am definitely the most excited for that, um, for that release. And I think it's coming out. It's like the end of July. I feel like they started teasing it too soon because, uh, you know, when I saw the actual date, like the 26th or the 29th, I assumed it was June, July. So anyway, it's okay. I'll wait. I'll wait, Pat. I'll wait. Um, <gasps> rented fashion cat is here. I'm a hoe for Pat McGrath. I'm so excited about all of it. You and me both girl, you and me. Um, Oh, Abby bliss white is here. Hello. How are you? How are you? Um, yeah, looking forward. So let me just scroll back a little bit here. Um, do you have favorite Tata Harper products? Honestly, I haven't tried a lot of her things, but there was one cleanser that I used. It was very citrusy and it had grits in it. So it was kind of like an exfoliator, but it was very, very gentle. I love that cleanser. It was, it, it was great, despite the fact that it was kind of citrusy and the fact that it had little bits in there for exfoliating. It left my skin feeling just really moisturized and clean, but without the film, without feeling overly moisturized. But what I cannot stand about it is like the dispenser. It comes in this pump and because of all the grits or whatever, it gets clogged. You can't pump out enough. I don't know. It's awful. The dispensing is awful. So until they switch that up, I'm not, I'm not repurchasing that. Um, did you have plans to review the Jaclyn Hill lipstick before the drama? I did not. I really just, I just didn't have any interest in it. Um, I, I don't, 
I don't really have an opinion about Jaclyn Hill. I think she's very talented. And I remember watching YouTube um, way back in the day, uh, beauty videos, and I loved her tutorials. I, you know, she's very talented, but I, I don't know. I just didn't really have much of an interest in these lipsticks. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. <clears throat> let me see. Let me scroll down. Have you ever tried Amore Pacific products? I have their one spritzer. What is it called? It's like a, it's not a finishing spray. It's really just sort of like a moisturizing spray. It's okay. I don't, I don't think it really does much. Um, but yeah, it's okay. I would be willing to try more of their things. Um, but it's, it takes a lot for me to kind of like dive into a new brand because, you know, as you guys know, every brand has so many products and it's like, you know, where do I start? And I get overwhelmed, um, which is also why I don't like really large makeup releases, which I feel like high-end brands do a lot. You know, they'll release like a hundred lipsticks. I'm like, okay, that's too much. <laughs> I can't even focus. Um, face mist. Yes, Kim. A face. Thank you. A face mist. <laughs> that's what, that's what it was. Um, oh, Nicole is saying that she, has the Amori Pacific Cushion Foundation, and it's nice. That's right. You were telling me about that. Um, I should try that. What is on your buy list when you go to Japan? Heather's asking. Uh, makeup brushes, for sure, because I'll be there. I'm basically going for the Fude Festival in Kumano. So, yeah, I am pretty much going to come back with a lot of makeup brushes. <laughs> and my husband's joking. He's like, you're going to get off that plane from Japan and you're going to be like in a Hello Kitty onesie holding like 80 makeup brushes. I'm like, it's, yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen. Um, uh, hello from Kyoto. Hello. Uh, makeup Lover Texas is from Kyoto. I would have never guessed that. <laughs> um Hi from Greece. Which is your favorite nude lipstick? That, that's too much. That, <laughs> that's a big question. Well, I love the one that I'm wearing now. This is the JK Magic, Charlotte Tilbury's Hot Lips 2 collection. I love the Sicily Lafito Rouge in number 11. Um, I any of the Tom Ford <laughs> nude lipsticks. I just love, um, I just got two nude lipsticks from the Bond Number no. 9 lipstick collection that are amazing. I feel like those nude lipsticks were made for me. I'm definitely going to have to do like a get ready with me um, with those lipsticks. And oh, I forgot during my housekeeping portion that next week's, you're definitely going to want to, well, I don't know, you may want to <laughs> um, tune into next week's live stream. It's going to be next Wednesday, which is July 3rd. I was um, going to live stream on Thursday, just to kind of switch it up, but that's July 4th. So anyway, um, so I'm going to be getting ready. Did I actually talk about this already? I feel like I'm repeating myself. I'm losing my mind. Um, I am going to be going out to dinner with my husband July 3rd. We're going to be celebrating our dating anniversary, which is our uh, 23 years together. So um, yeah, so that's going to be a get ready with me live stream next Wednesday. I'm not sure what time, probably around 12 or 12 noon or one o'clock my time. Um, so I will do it. Oh, thanks, Abby. She, uh, Abby Bliss White is saying that she loves my eye makeup today. So my whole look today is um, my June favorites. I filmed my June favorites earlier today. So I just kind of left the makeup look on. Um, but this is the Tom Ford Aqua Metal Shadow in Reflex Gilt. And I got the Violet Argente color because of you, Abby Bliss White. Um, because it just, it looks so beautiful on you. And I had only gotten the reflex guilt at that point. So, um, so that's what's on my inner portion. And then this is just the um, Chanel Le Beige, the nine pan one. It's just one of the like matte kind of like transition shades. Um, and that's it. Um, let's see, Simply Pretty Liesl. Just curious, is your husband white? Asian here from Wisconsin. My husband is not white. He um, is half Puerto Rican, half Dominican. Um, so he's not white. Uh, what is your overall favorite luxury brand if you can only pick one? I feel like I, I'm getting this question repeatedly. I just don't, I just don't know because if I were to only talk about makeup, I, you know, I think off the top of my head, maybe Tom Ford, maybe Chantecaille. But if we're talking about like a whole brand, skincare and makeup, I'm going to have to say Sisley. Um, so Yeah. Oh yeah, Abby, you can totally recreate this look for sure. 
uh, for sure. Have you tried the Sisley Lorica Day um, highlighter blush in rose? I don't have it. I have it in the coral, the latest one, um, but I don't have it in rose. It's, it's definitely on the list. Um, <laughs> Barb is wondering, um, how did you come up with Miss Fuzzy Butter's name? So um, I... Uh, I was actually having a conversation with the woman that I used to work for and we were actually talking about cashmere <laughs> and she was like, it's like fuzzy butter. And uh, it's kind of a long story, but she, she has a dog um, that's from the same litter as Miss Fuzzy Butters and her, her dog's name is Phoebe. So anyway, um, she had Phoebe, she convinced me to get Miss Fuzzy Butters. And anyway, so she was talking she was about talking. cashmere. She said, it's like fuzzy butter. And I was like, that's it. That's the name. So came up with Miss Fuzzy Butter. Miss Fuzzy Butters. Um, Michelle, why do influencers use double blushes, cream powder, and double contours? Is this the new norm? Um, so that that was Karen's question. Um, I think I think a lot of times when you use a cream product, if it doesn't set down completely, if it's still kind of tacky on the face they want to put some sort of powder product over it. So I think it's just a matter of <laughs> preservation. You know, they don't want maybe the hair to get stuck into the cream product if it doesn't set down or they don't want it to disappear or slide or move. So it's almost in a way like using the powder product as like a setting powder. I think that's, that's my assumption. Um, uh, that's what I would do. Um, or if you use a cream product, sometimes they're a little bit more sheer than powder products. Powder products, I think, tend to have a, like a bolder impact. And I don't know, you put it on, you put on the rest of your makeup, and sometimes it just doesn't look quite as much as you thought it was. And so maybe they'll just top it off with some powder. That could be another reason. Um, love your channel. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? So, oh no, this is, this is a very dangerous question. So um, I just got back onto a, a strict paleo diet and <laughs> I'm on, not that I'm counting, but I'm on day 24 <laughs> of paleo and it's been great, um, but I can't eat ice cream and I love ice cream. Um, I love the Ben and Jerry's Americone ice cream. I think that was, that was a collab with someone maybe Stephen Colbert. It's the Americone ice cream. I love it. Um, but in general, like just sort of a normal everyday kind of flavor, I love salted caramel. That hands down is my favorite, favorite. Um, Stephen Colbert. Yeah. I think, I think Americone was with him. <laughs> so I love it. Um, hi, Tara Lynn. Tara Lynn is here too. She's got a wonderful YouTube channel as well. Um, check her out. Uh, what is your favorite eyeliner for your waterline? So I have a couple. I love, do I still have them out here? No, I was actually good and put away my makeup. Darn. Um, the Chanel, the Stilo Ombre et Contour. They're kind of like chubby sticks, but they stay put. Um, today, I actually have the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Eyeliner on. Those stay put. Those are really good on the uh, waterline. Um, what else is good on the waterline? That's it. If I think of more, I'll mention them. But at the moment, that that's it. Um, favorite uh, favorite Netflix show at the moment or all time? Well, at the moment, um, I just finished season three of Jessica Jones. So good, so so good. I'm a really big fan of Daredevil and Jessica Jones. Those two uh, Defenders series. I was not that big of a fan of Luke Cage or the Man with the Iron Fist. They were fine. And I liked, I actually liked the actors in there, but the stories were really weak. Anyway, I could go on and on talking about that, but I really love Jessica Jones. Um, I thought it was really awesome. Um, <laughs> Marcy, yes, Jessica Jones. Such a good, um, she has really good villains. And then like this whole storyline with Patsy um, is, is great. It's great. Um, Sax or Neiman's, which has best beauty department. So, hmm, I think that's tough. I, I, my first reaction was to say Saks because there's no Neiman's in New York City, which is where I'm originally from. So I would always go to Saks and um, they get a lot of um, exclusives and stuff. Uh, Neiman's, 
Neiman's is good too. They're really, really good. And there's a Neiman's here in Vegas that I've been appreciating <laughs> quite a bit. Um, I'm going to say Saks. I'll say Saks. I like Saks. Um, Heidi is wondering, how do you handle Melia? Um, so Melia can sometimes go away on its own. If it doesn't, you need to go to a dermo. They need to kind of like lance it and get the... Um, the skin cells and the oil or whatever that's basically has like clogged up underneath that first layer of skin. Um, you could sit there and pick at it. I do not recommend that. You will probably scar yourself and quite possibly make it a lot worse, um, which is why I would say go to a dermo if it lasts for a long time. But sometimes I'll just leave, like I'll have a little Melia spot, you know, like right around. I usually get them like on the inner portion of my eyes and if I just leave it, sometimes it takes months, but it will go away for me. Um, but if it kind of gets worse or whatever, I would just, just go to a dermo and they can um, get rid of it. Oh, Maureen is asking what kind of doggy I have. So she is half um, French bulldog, half Boston Terrier. And I can show you a picture of her. <laughs> um, although I just got a text from my husband saying he's going to pick her up now and he should be home soon. Um, let me find, well, here's, here's a picture of her on my lap. So she pretty much looks like a Boston with Frenchy ears. Like she has Boston, like kind of a long skinny body. Um, her face isn't like totally smushed in, but her ears are like gigantic, like huge. Cause Boston's are pointy, but they're not that big, but she's got like Frenchy ears. Um, Oh, okay. I will bring uh, Miss Butters in when she when she gets back here. There's a new Neiman's now in New York City, Hudson Yards. Oh my God. Well, I'm going to be visiting New York in August. I will definitely be hitting that uh, for sure. Um, clothes for dogs, yay or nay? Um, sure. I have no problem. It doesn't hurt them. Um, so I'm all for it. And I think some dogs... I have met some dogs that kind of get off on it. I think some dogs are like beauty queens. Like I think some really enjoy it. I've had two dogs that don't enjoy it. I used to have a pug. She would somehow, even though she was like the klutziest dog in the entire world, she would somehow be able to get herself out of whatever clothing it was I put on her. Because in New York, it, get, it would get really cold and I would walk her and I'd put a sweater on her and a coat and I would turn around and like she'd be like half out of it. Um, Miss Butters kind of tolerates it, but I can tell she just, she doesn't care for it. Um, <laughs> my dog is too fat for clothes. Oh, um, thank you so much. You guys are really sweet. Greyhounds have to wear clothes in the winter. Yeah. There's a lot of dogs that have really, really short, fine hair and it's just, it's too cold or too hot for them. Um, what advice would you give to your 20 year old self? Um, I, well, it's, it's hard. And I always find this question very tricky because I feel like you have to go through all of those painful moments to become the person you want to be. But, um, I guess my advice would just be, um, I don't know, just like really get to know yourself. I think a lot of people don't really know themselves. And when you kind of, I don't know, when you advance into adulthood, that ends up sort of being like inner conflict. And I find that to be probably the most stressful for adults. I feel like that's what causes a lot of anxiety is this conflict between what you're doing and, and how you feel about it or how you feel about something and, and what someone else is doing. But if you really know yourself, there isn't gonna be that conflict. You're just gonna be like rock solid in all of your decisions and everything that you do in the people that you choose to surround yourself. So that would be, that would be my advice is just really get to know yourself. Um, where in New York city did you live? So for like 20 years, I lived in Manhattan. I lived all over Chelsea, the village, uh, Murray Hill, um, Soho, the West village. I really lived everywhere. Uh, I went to NYU, so I was kind of all over. And then when I graduated, I just kind of, you know, you know, if you're from New York, you're just, you're constantly moving. Um, cause you're like, Oh my God, bigger apartment for cheaper. And you like move. Um, and then, uh, my husband and I actually, um, ended up moving to Queens. So we were in Long Island city for seven or eight years, seven or eight years. And then we moved to Las Vegas. Um, 
Yay, NYU. Yes. Um, have you ever dyed, curled your hair? I have, I have never dyed my hair. Um, I have curled my hair. It's okay. I'm not, um, I'm not the biggest, um, I, well, I, curling my hair is a tricky thing. I think there is, um, when I try and make it too like relaxed, it's like pointless. I don't know why I did it. And if I try and get like a curl in there, it looks awful. Like I don't like those ringlet curls for me. It just, I don't know. It just doesn't suit me. So anyway, um, would you ever show your husband on your channel? Probably not. He's not, he's a very, very private person. He just, just got onto Facebook. So, um, I don't think so. Um, my husband is a financial planner. Um, that is what he does. Um, yay. Oh, Cindy, you're in Long Island city. Yes. Do you live near the, um, PepsiCo sign? <laughs> I miss that sign. Um, which city do you prefer? Tara Lynn is asking New York city or Vegas. It's, it's so hard. I mean, my heart is in New York city. I am a New Yorker. I am an East coaster. Um, Vegas is, like 180 degree difference from New York city. It really is incredibly different. Every aspect of it, the people, this, the way you live, the standard of living, everything. Um, and so I feel like Vegas is still very, it's just like new and different. And, um, the thing, I will say this, the thing that I love the most about Vegas is how cheap it is. I mentioned this in my la last live stream and I think people were, um, really shocked, but my monthly expenses here in Vegas are about one fifth what they were in New York. And now one fifth less, they're one fifth of my monthly expenses in New York city. So that is, uh, Oh, Cindy. So you're closer to the seven train Jackson and 51st Cindy. I was on 51st and between 5th and 2nd. So, yeah, right across from, what is that building? Why am I blanking? Right across from the old Con Ed, <laughs> the old Con Ed factory. So, yeah, I was on the south side of 51st Street. Um, let's see. Neiman Market, yep, yeah, Hudson Yards. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, it's a huge difference. I, I just, yeah, no tax in Vegas for sure. Um, <laughs> if you only had 15 minutes to pack your makeup for one week trip to Bali, what would you pack? I'm going to be perfectly honest here. I wouldn't pack anything. If I was going to Bali, I probably wouldn't pack any makeup. I would pack uh, a cleanser. I would pack some sunscreen and I would pack my La Mer lotion. If I don't use my La Mer lotion, my eczema starts to come back out. Um, so that is for sure what I would pack. Um, oh, Abby, dream visit. <laughs> please come, please come visit. I would like to see your uh, collection as well, Miss White. <laughs> um, let's see, hello from New Zealand, hello. How old are you? I am 45. In September, I'll be 46. I can't wait. I love birthdays. <laughs> I love my birthday. Um, so, oh, my dream YouTube collaboration. Um, I think uh, I think I answered this in one of my like get to know me um, videos, and I wasn't sure. I don't know if you mean like collab with another YouTuber or collab with like a brand, but another YouTuber. I think my my dream YouTube collaboration would be with Tara Babies. Um, I love her. She's probably the reason why I started my makeup videos. I just, I love her. And she's probably the one that <laughs> dragged me down into the rabbit hole of beauty videos on YouTube. So I absolutely love her. And I just, I think she's amazing. Um, you are a Libra. I am a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. I'm kind of on the cusp. So I have a little bit of Libra in me, but I think I'm more of a Virgo personality wise. <laughs> um, are you still using the Sisley hair serum religiously? Religiously. I just filmed an empties where, where I have an empty in there. I have two backups in my closet and I have one open on my bathroom. It is, um, 
I just, yeah, I just love it. It, it makes my hair just feel really, really healthy. I don't know how else to explain it. It just, it's made my hair really healthy, just shiny. Like I don't use a lot of products. I don't do a lot to my hair. And as I aged, I noticed that my hair was getting thinner and it was just looking kind of dull. And I thought, well, this is weird. You know, I don't color my hair. If you color your hair, it's understandable. You know, you're adding chemicals to your hair. And I thought, well, it's just aging. And so I got the serum in hopes that it would kind of reverse that a little bit. And it really has like my hair, I don't put anything in it. I just blow dry it. I put that serum in, I blow dry my hair and my hair, I think looks much shinier than it did for a long time. So I'm really, really happy with it. Um, let's see. Uh, do you believe in any of those beauty vitamins? Um, I do. I take a multivitamin and those beauty vitamins are just really amped up portions of those vitamins, like biotin for your hair or whatever. And I imagine they must do something for your hair. I just, um, I just, I don't like taking pills. So I take three vitamins and they're all gummies. I'm like a 12 year old. So I take a multivitamin. That's a gummy. I take a probiotic, which is a gummy. And I take an omega three, just, um, fatty acids. Uh, and they're all, <laughs> they're all gummies. <laughs> um, yay. First time you're catching me live. Mimi's beauty bag. Hello. Welcome. Um, menopause is killing my hair. I mean, I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. I don't, <laughs> just to be completely honest, it's just, I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it. Um, uh, oh, okay. Um, Allison, Upper West Side. Yes. Yes. I spent a lot of time on the Upper West Side because the yarn store that I hung out with, hung out with, hung out at a lot is Nitty City on 79th between Broadway and Amsterdam. Love them. Oh, good. So you guys all take gummies. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Hello from South Carolina. I love Tar Babies too. If you could choose only one brush brand, what would it be? That's really tough. Um, I love, love Sonia G brushes. I love them. They're impeccably, impeccably made. They're beautiful. I mean, they're beautiful to look at. I love the handles. Um, her shapes are really unique. You know, they're very different. And I love that about it because I think they can serve really sp like specific duty for what you need. Um, but when I just want like a regular kind of plain old powder brush, I'm loving these rougher brushes. Like I love them and they're all undyed goat hair. So you can use them with cream and liquid. Like these are workhorse brushes and these are like special, you know, beautiful brushes that I adore and I care for. These are like workhorse, awesome quality, multi-purpose, like they're just amazing brushes. So I really love Refer and Sonia G. Yeah. If I had to pick though, I think I would pick Sonia G just because they're so, they're so beautiful. They're just so beautiful to look at. Um, what body scrub would you recommend? Um, I can't say that I feel like I have found like a holy grail body scrub. Um, the one that I really like is from Orbe. Uh, the scent is wonderful and I like the pieces in it. Um, they're not too harsh, but they're not too soft where it's kind of useless. I like that one. Um, right now in my bathroom, I'm using, I have a Frank body coffee scrub because I just love, love coffee and I love the smell of coffee and it's a really effective, it's a great scrub. Um, but it's really messy because it's, it looks like coffee ground. So it gets like all over your bathtub. Um, and I also have a Josie Marin, uh, scrub in there. I don't, I think it's like an argan oil, uh, body scrub. That one's nice too. I also really like the fresh sugar body scrub. That's a good one. That one's a little bit rougher. The crystals are a little bit rougher. Um, but that one's a good one too. Uh, Donna is going to try the Sisley body scrub. I would like to try that as well. Um, when I do go to the counter, I'll use it on my hands and it's quite lovely. Um, oh, my dream collab. Did I not answer that? Oh, no, I said Tara Babies. Um, hi, Marsha. Marsha Woods in the house. She is another YouTuber. She's amazing as well. She also focuses on luxury beauty. And I love the intro to her videos, Marsha. I just have to tell you, I love the intro to your videos. Um, I think you're in Texas and... 
I don't know if those are your horses, but anyway, it's it's a beautiful intro. Anyway, it makes me smile. Um, so check out um, check out Marsha Woods' channel for sure. Um, Sylvia said, oh, Sonia G Instagram feed is great. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. She does great comparisons. <laughs> And I'm always asking her, I'm like, how do you get your brushes so clean? Like all of her brushes, when she lays them out, they look brand new. I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. Um, hello from Toronto. I love Toronto. That was such a beautiful city. What's your favorite facial toner? Um, the La Mer one. The La Mer, I think it's called the Tonic. It, it's like light pink. Um, Manuel just asked the same thing. Um Please visit Singapore. I would love to. I'm a little bit scared of the humidity level <laughs> in Singapore, but it looks like such a beautiful country. I would love to visit Singapore. Um, hi, Raleigh, North Carolina. Who's that? Sherry. Sherry D. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. You guys are nice. What's your fave all-time lipstick? These questions. I don't know. I There's so many that I love. I love Tom Ford. Um, I'm falling very, very deeply in love with these bond number nine lipsticks. Um, the Gucci lipsticks I love. Oh my gosh. The Shantikai lip veil. That is such a good one. I love that formula. It's so beautiful on the lips. Um, would you get microblading done? Probably not. I don't know. I, I, my, I don't know. I don't think so. Again, I'm I'm not one to say never, you know, never say never. Um, but I have no plans on getting microblading done. Um, have I tried the Picard Essence from SK2? I tried an Essence from SK2 and actually gave me like red bumps. I don't know if it was the Picard Essence. Um, so I've stayed away from SK2. I think there's something in there that just doesn't jive with my skin. Um, so terrible decisions. You said in a video once that you love luxury handbags. I do. Do you have any favorites? One of my all-time favorites is the Givenchy, the Pandora. Oh, I can't remember the name. Is it the Pandora? It's like a crossbody bag and it has like, I don't know, like a interesting shape to it, but it's crossbody and then it has this top handle. It's just the most versatile amazing bag because you can crossbody it. You can use that handle to put over your shoulder or you can hold it in your hand. It has one big pocket and then it has a front pocket. And then it has this like flip, um, like pocket in the front that's the size of like a credit card. And so in New York, I loved it because my Metro card went right in there along with my ID or my debit card, whatever I needed quick access to. So I love, love that bag. Um, that one's amazing. Um, Maris T. Yeah, the lip veil, the Chantecaille lip veil is just, it's so, so good. It's just so, so good. Um, favorite candle. Actually, it's right back there. Um, that is the Diptyque Bays, B-A-I-E-S candle. It has like a very strong, like black current, um, scent to it. I love it. Love it. I love it so much that I got that size. Do you see how big that is? That's actually one of their outdoor candles and it's crazy expensive for a candle, but I will tell you right now, this thing has lasted me eight years. <laughs> it's worth every penny. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, favorite perfume. Um, my longtime favorite is Joe Malone grapefruit, but right now I want to say maybe for the past nine months, I have been wearing the Maison Francis Kirkjens Aqua Universalis. That is quite the mouthful. Aqua Universalis. I love it. It's very unisex. It's very fresh. It's very clean. There's a, maybe a, a hint of citrus in there. I love it. Um, are, are you excited for Nordstrom's anniversary sale? I am. So I'm actually going to the mall tomorrow. Um, and one of the Charlotte Tilbury reps at Nordstrom just texted me and she said that she can show me and I think maybe pre-sell me the four sets that Charlotte Tilbury is, is having. And there is, I believe a pillow talk lip gloss involved. So I'm very excited for that. There's also going to be six different Tom Ford sets. And I think there's like a lip color set that is, I think new lip colors. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but I do believe there's going to be six different sets. So I am very, very excited. Um, if Lisa Eldridge or Charlotte Tilbury invited you to dinner, you want to, oh, which invite would you accept? 
I think Lisa Eldridge. Um, I mean, as much as I love Charlotte Tilbury, I feel like I would jive with Lisa Eldridge a little bit more. Charlotte Tilbury seems like uh, like a partier. I don't know if I could keep up, to be quite honest. I think Lisa Eldridge is maybe more my speed. <laughs> um, hey, Rosa Maria is here. How are you? Um, good to see you on here. Okay, I got a good question for you. Who do you think the greatest man ever lived that made the greatest contribution to humanity? Um, I don't know. Um, maybe Thomas Edison, because electricity is really bomb. <laughs> electricity is really, really awesome. Or, or should we... Um, should we say it was, maybe it was Tesla, maybe it wasn't Thomas Edison. Uh, so one of them. <laughs> um, Max Factor, hello from Montreal. Hello, I've been to Montreal once, another beautiful city. Canada is just beautiful. I also love the winter time, so I just feel like I belong in Canada. Um, ah, Tesla. Um, okay. Oh, who's your man crush? I have, I have a couple. Um, Keanu Reeves is a man crush. <clears throat> I also love Clive Owen. I think he's awesome. Who else? Idris Elba. I love him as well. Mm -hmm. um, the drunk history on Tesla is fantastic. All right. I'll have to check that out. Um, antibiotics. Yeah, that, that's, that's a pretty good one too. <laughs> Um, cars of wedding date of the mini Keanu. Yeah. Clive Owen. If you, if you're not familiar with Clive Owen, watch, um, Closer. Is that the name of, it was a play in London and then they turn into a movie and there's Natalie Portman, um, Jude Law and, um, who's the other woman in it? God, my memory's going. Talk about aging. Anyway, Clive Owen. Love him in that movie. Um, Gerard Butler. I do very much appreciate a Scottish accent. Very much. Um, let's see. Julia Roberts. Thank you. <laughs> um, do you prefer hot or cold weather? I prefer cold weather. For sure. And it's funny that I am um, in... Uh, okay. I am in a very, very warm place right now. Um, but I have to say humidity really is a problem for me. And, um, it gets so humid in New York that 80 in New York is so less comfortable than hundred degrees in Las Vegas. So I do, I just prefer cold weather full stop, but I have realized about myself that humidity is really a killer for me. I just don't enjoy it. Um, Oh boy, they're coming in. Oh, Keanu Reeves. Um, Clive and Croupier, yeah. I think that was one of his first movies, right? He was really young in that one. Yep, humidity, kill humidity kills. <laughs> um, all right, so we have been on for about an hour, and the last live stream I did was about an hour and 40 minutes, which I thought was really fun, but I didn't take into account people who were going to watch this um, on playback. So I think we should cut it off here. I will be back on live stream next week, Wednesday, probably around the early afternoon time. Um, it'll be a get ready with me as I get ready for my dinner date with my husband as we celebrate 23 years together. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was so, so nice chatting with you guys. I, I, I know I didn't get to all of your questions, so I apologize. Um, but it's, it's always so good to connect with you guys at a different level. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will see you in my, in my next video, in my next live stream. My next video will be up on Friday. Um, but um, have a lovely evening. It is dinner time for me. And I will see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, Miss Fuzzy Butters. She's not home yet. I'm sorry. I'll bring her on. Oh, no, it's Wednesday again. Um, well, she will definitely make an appearance soon. So stay tuned for my next live stream. Hopefully we'll have her on there. If not, <clears throat> on another one. So thank you guys again for joining me. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.